Come on, put my arm around you, Chrissy. I'm here with two of my great mates for uh, a very important video. Okay, we're here for the Jealous Craig sum up of the senior football club performance today against Sylvan, the Sylvan Cats, I believe. That's right. Okay, and I've got two of my great mates here, Rob Yoannidis and of course uh, Travis Smith. Uh, sorry, sorry, who are you, Travis? Don't Travis Watson. <laughs> Travis, Travis not calling the pits iron. But, but what I loved about today is the boys fought it out. It's a really difficult game to to work through. Rob, tell us about what you spoke about at three quarter time because we kicked ten goals to quarter uh, th uh, to three quarter time and then we kicked eight in the last quarter. Um, we just really spoke about just chipping away. We, we said the ball was coming in, and um, maybe in that third quarter we let ourselves down a little bit with uh, some stray kicking as well. I think we kicked uh, three goals, six in the third. So just said, you know, go back and just make sure we, uh, we kick those goals. And they did in the last. We kicked uh, eight three, which was really great. Fantastic. And, uh, and I've got Travis with me here because a big part of our great footy club is the the, the reserves, the under 19s football club is all about all about development of our players and development of our our club. Trav, you had four blokes step up today. Yep. Right, just give us a little bit of review on how you think they went today. Um, yeah, well, firstly, the reason why they came up, um, and we spoke about it on Thursday nights with everyone, it wasn't because of uh, the guys that came out were playing poorly, um, but. If we've got guys kicking the door in the twos, we want them to go and play so that we can expose them to senior football. Tom May's a classic example. Played one game last year, didn't have a great day, a great game, and he sat back in the twos for the rest of the year. We want to get these guys up when they're playing well so that their form continues, but so they can get a taste for senior footy and get two, three, four games in a row, hopefully. Sam Kirby, similar, played early, went back, and is... Uh, um, and it's finally 40 for him, but he, I mean, he smashed it, Sam, three weeks in a row in the two. We had to reward him. Um, and we don't want these things to be up here flying and then just sort of filter away by playing the two as well. So how'd they go today? Tom was amazing. And he just said to me, and he had the big smile on his face um, and, you know, hit the footy hard, took the ball cleanly, uh, did really well. Um, Sam, similar, probably not as much of an impact as Tom. Ollie Lodge, probably not as much of an impact, but Ollie, we know, is a great player around uh, those guys. And then the third one's Matty Nagel, who's an under 19s player. Played two or three games, came back to the twos and played well enough, didn't dominate, but we said, right, let's get him back in now. He's gone back and got his hands on the footy. Nick Worthing came back and played in the twos today um, and just dominated and took some criticism and, and then just comes in hard. So it's really good, important for those guys to to learn and develop and get better and better. Yeah, they, they, they might not be there all year, but hopefully they are. Yeah, and great, uh, I've got Robbie Price taking the video here. A couple of premiership players from the 2012 premiership side. Guys that have matured over time. Robbie, you had Ollie in there. Uh, always looks a class. I mean, the guy's only 20, 21. Mm. And then you had Tommy, who we love, who was our captain in 2012. How did the boys perform as far as you were concerned as well as the assistant coach in the under oh, as, uh, In the senior, sorry. As I said to Tommy after the game, um, in the time that I've watched him play footy at this footy club um, from when he was captain of the under-19s, it's probably one of the best games I've seen him play. And, that, and, and I'm not, you know, I wasn't exaggerating. I just thought, as Trav said, he, his hardness at the footy has just gone to another level. Um, I think it was fantastic today. He just really kept his eyes on the footy all day and attacked it hard. And he just kept dishing out the handball after handball. And uh, he was just fantastic. Um, Ollie, he's um, he's one to watch. He's he's going to be an excitement machine, that boy. He, uh, he'll be sitting on some heads in years to come. Don't worry about that. And um, he's, so, yeah, so, so excellent. We're, we're just stuff. about to finish. I've asked Trevor about the development guys, which is a really important part of this interview. That's why we don't have Rick here. Um, because you've seen them week in, week out. I think the important thing is, are there any other notable mentions? For example, I just thought Caden Williams was fantastic. I thought Kitty got his hands on the ball, and and as usual, uh, Pierce was yeah. just uh, clean. Pierce and I've got Daniel Jackson, my guy. You yeah. can run through him if you want, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>